It's the most wonderful time. It's about like me, isn't it? What? Seen better day. Seen better day. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Your old Range Rover, then. Will it start? Well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might. There's an underlying problem with it. There's several underlying problems. Yeah. Yeah. Driver, mainly. Driver, mainly. And it's also a Range Rover. And it's also a Range Rover. <laughs> I, st I, I stopped using it about, what, five years ago, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe six. The tire's not blowing up and it won't hurt to move it. Well, we want a bit of a tidy up in the workshop. Tidy, don't we? Really yeah. It's been a bit of a problem all its life, really. But the engine's been really good. But the last thing that did happen was the engine. It, um, it's not running very well. I've got a feeling it's the injectors or the injector pump, but uh, I don't know for sure. I don't know, just over 200,000. I think if you put a set of injectors in, uh, that wouldn't be too horrible, although I think there's a, a special injector on number four cylinder. That rings a bell, actually, yeah. Yeah, I think it's got some electronic control. But I don't know, but I, I, should, I think the injector pump itself might be worn a bit, too. You know, there's probably a thousand pounds worth of fuel equipment, and you, you've still got a vehicle that's probably worth a thousand pounds. So, will it ever get done? Which is a shame, because inherently it's a good Range Rover. It's done some miles. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Will it start? That's the question. <laughs> well, <laughs> no is the answer, probably. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's what we did last time. Could it be a head gasket? Uh, it's possible. Pa apparently, they do go. But, um. Could be smoking. There's no evidence in the, in the water or in the oil. Right. And it runs smooth after 3,000 RPM. I don't know. Of course, if it is a head gas, it probably is about had it, isn't it? I think it'll go. You used to take me to school in this, didn't you? I did. Yeah. 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 We're good to see it going again. Yeah. It's a, it is very comfortable. Yeah, it's nice. I love this range. Nice truck, actually. yeah. 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 Um, had it changed to um, springs as well because of the, the airbags? The airbags. Yeah, I had a disco and I, I did the same, you converted the same, it to springs. Yeah. Yeah. And I found it very good. Yeah, it just won't start. <laughs> just won't start. <laughs> <laughs> it's about like me, isn't it? What? Seen better days. Seen better days. <laughs> yeah. You're giving up with it then? Just, just temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> it, it will start. <laughs> I think we're on charge, shall we? Who in there? Hiya. Are you working hard or hardly working? Working bloody hard. <laughs> I'm still working. Hang on. You're knocking them out. Yes. It's uh, flocked down, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and losing their feathers. Losing their feathers? Yeah. Avian bloody flu again. Do you want a hand? Nice and warm, though. <laughs> You're all wrapped up. I <laughs> know, oh, girls. You want to come out, don't you? I've just had to put their um, anti anti pecking fly spray on. They're pecking each other. Yeah, one of lost their tail feathers. Hang on, it's gone funny. It's gone funny. You want to make sure it goes top and bottom? There you go. Top and bottom. Yeah. There we go. Look. I'm just following you around now, not doing anything to help. I know. <laughs> you can get the door, though. I'll get the door. <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> oh, chickens. Desperate to get out, aren't they? Yep. I've got warm eggs. Oh. Lovely. I'll have one for my lunch. Look at that. Perfect. You're covered in straw. So go move the sheep. Come on then. Hello, horse. She wants, yes. apples. She wants apples. She wants my finger. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. yeah, you don't like me, do you, horse? No. She doesn't like men. No, she doesn't like men. She's a moody mare. It's the most wonderful time oh, of works. the year. That door works. That door works. Yeah, I've unlocked it now. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I've been singing Christmas songs. Why? Oh, 
one today there's a slight frost this morning but uh not a heavy one but it's uh yeah a little bit nippy so we've been running the sheep between these three fields um and i think it's time now we brought them a little bit closer to home for christmas onto some better grass um into a field where we can be feeding some hay as well right outside the house so we can see them uh we'll probably do that in a few days maybe at the weekend hail is just Gone to round them up, get them through the gate into this field just here. Here she comes. Nice one, love. Yeah, that's easy, isn't it? Easy peasy. Yeah, they're a smart bunch. We'll get them moved up uh, near the house yes. in a few days. Happy sheep. Happy sheep. Right, make a good team. Well, actually, no, you were doing all the work, so. Awesome. Oh, bless you. Um, yeah, I know. I've uh, I had a pretty bad accident, but it was the silliest thing. So I my thumb open on, um, what, what even is it called? You put your tea bags on it. After you've thing, them. Yeah, I think you put your tea bags on. It's not a tea bag strainer, it's just a tea bag, I don't know. Tea bag holder. Yeah. Yeah, bag holder. Yeah. And uh, yeah, put it in the bin to tip off the uh, tea bags and somehow it broke. Slashed my thumb open and my finger, but my thumb, that was quite a bad one, wasn't it? Mm. Well, bin's getting full. They haven't been to collect it yet. <clears throat> right, that belongs with that deck. Because Macy 90. Because Macy, yep. It's nice and dry, is it? Yeah, these are the mower decks. We're taking these off. They're getting a bit of a squirt. This one blade that was with the tension. I hit the stone with one of them. Oh, did you? Yeah. All oh, right. I better take that one. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We can probably grind them, can't we? Sharpen them up a bit. Ah, oh, trying again. Does it need bleeding, Dad? But it gives that impression, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I don't know where the bleed screw is. I don't think there is one of these modern pumps or modernish pump. Pop cracker injector, couldn't you? But cracker injector, yeah, yeah. I don't think it is that because okay. it's done this before when we had to move it. Whether it sort of drains back the fuel, it did have a non-return valve once, fitted extra, but uh, I think that's been taken off. I think it's either the injection pump or the or, or the injectors or both. Right, okay. It could be a sensor. There's loads of sensors on this engine, but uh, and the, the heat plugs aren't helping. If they're down, just say there's, there's six, should be six, just say only three of them are working. Yeah. You know, and it's cold today, isn't it? Yeah. That's not going to help. No, it's not. At the best of times. No. Should try again? Yeah, try again. I'll give you a bit of heat anyway. When it came in last time, the time, well, the time just before it's parked up here, I said, we'll probably have a look at the injectors or, you know. And never did. Try it, and I never did. Yeah. <laughs> what about the Riley? We need to move this, Dad. It's in the way. Yes. Well, uh, there's, there's, I think there's two or three things wrong with this. <laughs> One being I can't get fuel. Up, I, th I think it's the lift pump. The lift pump, yeah. yeah. I've had to do that before. I've got a repair kit, so I might pop it on. You but... basically got all these vehicles and none of them are right. No, they're, they're sort of, <laughs> they're, they're not, no. No, they're, 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 strange, they're a strange mix, aren't they? A Riley RMA, which is not a, a well-known model, and uh, it's not sort of um, 
like a, a VXK Jag, is it? Or not quite. But to, no. to, to be honest, Dad, I absolutely love this car. Do you? Yeah. yeah. It'd be good to see it's it sort of. It's, 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 you know, I mean, <laughs> its performance is a bit limited. <laughs> I mean, it's very limited at the moment, isn't it? I remember there was a story actually, and Mum, Mum told me it. She'd gone to the abattoir to pick up a lamb carcass or a couple of lamb carcasses. Yeah. Back. You used to use it. Yeah, because yeah. you used to use it. Yeah, quite a bit, and yeah. um, she had these carcasses on the back seat, and um, basically she'd gone out with yeah. the f- fuel gauge reading quite low. Yeah. And she'd asked you, is it going to be all right? Is it going to be all right? And she said, yeah, it's going to be yeah. fine. The, the gauge doesn't work very well. Without a quarter. Of course, yeah. It ran <laughs> out on it, didn't it? Yeah. So there she was stranded. Before yeah. mobile phones, she yeah. said, yeah. with these lamb carcasses in on the back. back seat. On the back seat, yeah. yeah. You used to use it all the time. It's a good fun. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, especially in the, in, sort of in the 80s, uh, the, that's when we used to run it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What year is it? 1948? It's built in 1948. It registered in January 49. And it came from um, a, a local farmer. Yeah. So, so you had the one owner before me, but you might inherit it. Might I? Yeah. I'd rather this than the Range Rover. This is what I you've got to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Brilliant. No, like I said, I love it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it actually, is. it's a lovely old car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car. Yeah. yeah. I have got um, um, my old Daimler, haven't I? Your uh, Daimler. Oh yeah. That's 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 the one. Yeah. It's not old. That it I is want. A, yeah. Oh. Um, that's uh, the old. It's a Jag. Based Jack based Dave. It's, it's a smart car, Dad. I love but that course, car. Of course, that that came from a, a neighbouring farmer. Yeah. So it sort of happened to be there. It wouldn't be my first choice. It makes, it's been an old man's car. It's it? been an old man's car. It's, it's gone, gone a, beyond that now, probably. It's gone to sort of classic status, possibly. Yeah. Rather than being. Um, but that's a lot more. What year was that? That's ninety. That's nineteen ninety. So it's not that old. No. So yeah. it's in the, in between. But I don't use that much at all, and that's a bit of a... See, it's neither one thing nor the other. You, you can't get the classic car tax VED rate, can you, on no. 1990? No. It has to be 40 years old. 40 years old, yeah. So. Um, whereas, such as this, you see, if it's over, over 40 years old, it's actually... They can sort of stand around, can't they? But something like that car, it's quite expensive to tax. So yeah. You can only tax it for six months in the summer. And then I think I did about 25 miles in it for... Between the last efforts. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> so, it's a bit expensive, 25 miles. It's a very expensive 25 miles, yeah. yeah. My favourite thing about this car, Dad. Suicide doors. The suicide doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are good, aren't they? The interior, Dad. I mean, you can't beat that, can you? Well, no, it's... Um... <laughs> no seatbelts. In the back. Oh, no seatbelts, no. No seatbelts. Because belts. they're not fitted, so you don't need to have them. No. Uh, you could effectively go straight down the road with this. A bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you kind of want seat belts, especially these days. Yeah. I don't want the speed this does, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Top speed of what then, Dad? Um, it, actually, uh, I probably said before, it, it does do, it'll, it'll do 70. Will it? It shakes a bit at 70. <laughs> it shakes a bit. It's more comfortable about 55. <laughs> Just cruising then. Just cruising. Just cruising, yeah. 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 Just, Just cruising. When you're older. The classic car is just the sort of hobby, isn't it, for an old bloke, isn't it? You've got to have a classic car when you're sort of 18 to 25. That's the time to have a I never car. did. That's why I want one now at yeah. 30. Yeah, that, nearly, that's nearly the time to be if, if you can. Because you, you can't, can you? The thing is, when I was looking, you know, on eBay and Auto Trader, whatever, yeah. for classic cars when I was about 18, yeah. I was thinking, they're not a bad price. Okay, I don't have the money yet, but they're not a bad price. And now I've got that money. They're now more money, they're and I, can't, I still can't afford it. And then you're yeah. sort of, you've lost it because you've lost that you want one when you're single. Yeah. That's what you want the classic car. When you're single, yeah. you've got no worries, that's you right. can just get yeah. in and go. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what you And when you have the kids and the responsibilities yeah. and no time, that's when you probably could afford it, but you yeah. haven't got the time to drive it. That's right. And, but there'd be a different set of vehicles for you, you your generation. For me, uh, it was, I'd buy, you know, when, when I was single, I'd you know, buy MGs and... Uh, my favourite was the Volvo 1800. That's it. You had one of those, didn't you? Uh, the fake car. Yeah. I had two of those. Didn't your dad buy you the Volvo? No, he, he didn't actually, no. Yeah. No, I, I had to buy that. No, he bought me an MG. Oh. Yeah. But we got, I promptly pranged. You pranged it? I did. <laughs> of course. He wasn't too happy. <laughs> <laughs>
Paul Sanderson over to farm two. We've got some builders over there. Got a uh, bit of a project going on over at farm two, which I'm sure you guys will see in a future video. I won't talk about it now. We'll talk about that at some other point. But the builders over there, we did promise them we'd let them use the old Sanderson, so we've got to get that over to them. Yeah, it's turned into pretty miserable afternoon and uh, yeah this old girl she's not the best on the road I must admit a bit bumpy no suspension not very comfortable uh oh bumpy <laughs> this uh, this loader actually used to pretty much live at farm too we used to rent out one of our sheds there to a company we used to store their wheat feed pellets and as part of the haulage side of the farm we used to um, load up store the pellets and load up the lorries well hey it's uh, oh, it's not a comfy thing to drive on the road it really isn't speaking of lorries we're having a bit of a job at the moment with lorries turning up or not turning up I should say to collect our grain we've sold a fair bit of wheat um, well a few hundred tons of wheat and we're still waiting on a couple of lorries to turn up. We've got the bookings, the bookings are coming in, telling us they'll be there you know, on a certain day, and they're just not turning up. No one's even letting us know that they're not turning up. Now, I'm not gonna drop any names, you know. I'm not gonna call anybody out because I know there's a bit of a, uh, an issue at the moment with lorries and HGV drivers and a shortage of drivers, etc. So I know there's a bit of stuff going on, but it is very frustrating, especially when you get the bookings. You know, we go through a third party merchant, they'll sell the wheat to whoever and they'll organise another company to uh, come and collect. And to be honest, I think it's the lack of communication between, you know, all the different parties. But yeah, well, a combination of things, but we're having a bit of a job at the moment. Lorries aren't turning up when they're supposed to be turning up. One of those things, we've got a couple of loads left to go out this week. Um, I think one's coming either tomorrow or the next day but the other one hasn't even been confirmed yet and uh, <laughs> but the, and these last two loads were supposed to go out at the end of last week so we're already a couple of days behind right we've got to turn on to this horrible main road it's never easy Only have to go down the A road for about well half a mile, so won't hold anybody up for long. It's not uh, it's not the quickest machine ever. One thing this loader does is the boom has a tendency to sort of creep out a little bit as you're going along. So every now and then I've just got to flick the lever back, bring it back in, it just creeps out slowly it's old but it is a good machine really I do like this Arson but I don't like taking it on the roads right then here we are farm two we'll let you guys in on what's happening here another time it's running Let's uh, wedge it down, yeah. Wedge it down. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is out. Yeah. Something not quite right, Dad. No, it's not, is it? 